Good morning, everyone. This is Amanda with the Madera County Library, Chowchilla Branch, and I'm here today to show you how to make a trivet. A trivet can be useful tools in the kitchen when you have a hot pan or um, anything hot coming out of the oven or off of the stovetop and you want to protect your counter or your tabletop surfaces. And so we're going to make one with clothespins today. You will receive a grab and go kit and in this kit you'll receive clothespins and glue to make your trivet. So we start by disassembling our clothespins and with a simple twist you can remove the spring mechanism and we just set that aside. Each trivet will take between 19 and 21 clothespins depending on the size of the clothespin itself. Once we have disassembled our clothespins, you will start by gluing two of them together, back sides together, flat. Inside of the kit is a little packet of glue. All we need to do is snip the corner. And if you need help applying any of the glue, a Q-tip will work really well as well. And then we set those aside. Once you've done between 19 and 21 of these clothespins, you can start putting your trivet together. I would recommend that these individual pieces sit for at least 10 to 15 minutes to set up to make putting the full piece together easier. Now that we have all of our pieces put together, it's time to start assembling the trivet. And what we do is the narrowest ends of the clothespins themselves, we just start gluing those together in a circle. If you have time, you can also paint your clothespins or you can get various size clothespins and um, make various size trivets also. And there we have it. I would recommend letting it set up for a good two to three hours before trying to move it and dry overnight before actually using it um, as a hot plate. Thank you for joining us today and for being a part of our summer reading program. We hope you're having a great time with the, all of the activities that are being provided to you by Madera County Libraries and we'll see you soon.